you know, you can skip through whatever you like, but we got a freaking gold! Oh my... Oh my goodness, I hope it's ka -ching. All right, today's video is all about re-rolling, and you know, as in the game, you roll the wishes, you get random characters, and sometimes you may not get who you want. So there's a way that if you just make a new account, you know, you get a ton of rolls really early, and you can just roll, and maybe if you roll until you get a character you want, then you can use that account as your main account. Now, I know today's video is a long one because it is just pretty much raw footage of me doing this, so you can look at this video and see that's how long it takes to get like 40-something rolls. It literally takes about like... 25 26 minutes to get 40 plus rolls and you could roll stuff like this like I rolled the luck on my first try Well, yeah, he was saying because we know we got more. Yeah. Oh my god. We got an orange on the Noel on the Noel one oh, Okay, okay, okay Rerolls, okay All right, so let's get into it The way you're gonna want to do it is hit register now and click register by username just enter a name whatever enter your password whatever it is and just make an account you know memorize it because you can change your password at any time here you go once the account's made log in click start and head through the gate all right so here we go so it's literally just gonna be raw footage pretty much from here on out the things you can't skip are things like cutscenes, uh dialogue stuff you know there's some shortcuts to areas but most of it you just can't skip which so i may cut through cutscenes and skip through them all right, so right here, you have the option to pick between the characters. Now, there's not really a big difference. You know, the guy, I believe Kameo characters have, you know, they can sprint their dashes further and their wall climbs further, but we're just going to pick the girl because that's, you know, who I want to play as. I just named her A. You can change that any time later. And there actually is a skip here. You know, you could, like, Alt F4 right here, and then when you reload the game, um, you'll be at the beach cutscene, but I would only recommend doing that if you have really fast, like, SSD or whatever it is. Real quick, I'm going to shout out Keyline Pi. He's the video that I watched that taught me how to do this, and I've done this quite a few times today and had some bad and good luck but um it's honestly really fun because it kind of gives you the rush of like speed running and then also the reward at the end of rolling a ton of characters so his link will be in the description below the link to his video like i said you can't really skip through cutscenes or any much dialogue in the game You're, there's gonna be a lot of spam clicking coming up okay keep in mind that this guide is we're gonna be doing this as fast as we can and as efficiently as we can and also keep in mind that you're gonna have to do every single thing i do in this video in order to hit a wrench rank 7 in under 30 minutes so the first thing is to just skip through all this, you know, hit this teleport waypoint and keep on going. Look at this. Like I said, it's literally going to be just raw gameplay, like, there's probably going to be a ton of just dead points in the video, but I'm going to try and, you know, you can just put this on your second monitor, have it up to follow, and then do what I do and get your rolls. And eventually, you know, your first run may be a little longer than, like, under 30 minutes, you know, it's because you're going to have to follow me, maybe pause it, figure out what you're doing. But once you get it down and you memorize, like, everything you have to do, then you can do it in easily under like 26 minutes. Alright, so if you come up to this bush here rather than the edge of the cliff, it starts the cutscene sooner. Get through this cutscene of it showing the world. Once you're done talking to Paimon here, you're gonna immediately just look back and to the right and dash over there towards Paimon. As soon as this dialogue goes away. This way. You have to activate her just to get her to start moving, or otherwise she'll just be standing still. Alright, so the first thing we're going to be doing is grabbing this chest up here on this cliff. Iman's going to stop right here and like stop moving for a while. You're going to have to come back to her after you get this chest. But this is what I'm talking about, guys. You literally you have to get this chest or your bench rank will be off and you won't hit 7 in time. But all you have to do is open it. You don't have to pick anything up. So I open it and I got the 10 XP. You reactivate Paimon here and we fall over to the statue. Here's another unskippable cutscene. Okay, so hit escape out of this. Another mini cutscene will start. Bam through this. You're really just gonna wanna spam the whole time. Just hit random. Dialogue. There's a specific dialogue. There's a couple of specific ones that I'm gonna mention uh, to click then. Alright, what you're gonna wanna do here, you know, just hit E once on the slime. Once it recharges, you know, hold it for like a little bit longer. Just enough to make a charge attack. Like that. Dang, it didn't kill him. That's unfortunate, but it's fine. Usually that'll kill him. Back up a little bit, hit your Q. That should kill them. And you can swim. Do a full 180 and swim back here. So maybe hold the charge attack a little longer. Alright, so once you swim back here... Swim? Is that even a word? I don't know. But come past this little broken 
trailer thing, whatever that is, drop down here and grab this chest. You have to do this. All right, now immediately start running over here. There's gonna be a mini cutscene right here that spawns, but you can still move at the very end of it. So like spam right click to get that dash. You can see my character moved a little bit faster. Just run past these enemies. They're not important, not worth it. Run all the way to this little tree right here, right in front of us. Once you touch it, a cutscene will start. Once that cutscene's over, bam click through these options. Then, you know, hit the top option, top option, what's that? Alright, now what you're going to do is you're going to just dash over, but let Paimon, make sure Paimon's on top of the tier before you get up there. You know, she usually is, otherwise there's some dialogue issues. Interact the tier, let her speak, keep spam clicking. Once that's over, immediately go to the right, right behind her see this chest on this hill, make sure you come and grab this. And then come to the edge of this cliff to initiate the amber cutscene. Alright, so this one is the only other... Alright, with this dialogue one, make sure you hit the top option, not the emergency food one, unfortunately, even though she is emergency food. The emergency food one adds a couple extra dialogue lines, making it a little bit longer. Only by like literally like a second or two. So most of the time, most of the dialogue options aren't that important, but I mean, if you do want the fastest run possible, that's what you do. We spam in two, get Amber out, pull her bow out, take that and get this chest. Immediately go to the left, we're just running for a while here. Come up here and activate this teleportation waypoint. After this little thing. After you activate that, run up on this Healy Troll right here. Hit him in the face with your bow. Switch to your starter. Hold E. He's dead. Switch back to Amber and be ready to hit this dude off of his post. You want to try and gather him up as fast, as close as possible. Once he's off, see he ran away, so it's going to be a little off, but... Sometimes you can kill them all three really, really fast. Other times not. Try and grab this chest as fast as you can. There you go. You don't have to get it for the cutscene before it cuts out, but uh, just try your best. You can pick it up afterwards, it's just for the fastest. All right. After they're done talking, you're gonna go to your map, and you wanna teleport down here. Teleport the one you just teleported to. If your system's not that fast, maybe just run down there, but teleport down there and immediately go to the left, go past these trees and interact with this barrel. Grab the mushroom and the fowl, put this thing. Hit cook, cook these mushrooms, and it doesn't matter the proficiency, so immediately stop it for the fastest one, then talk to her. The first time you talk to her, she'll give you the quest to cook the thing for her, which you've already done, so then talk to her immediately again. Make sure you're talking to her and not cooking. She'll talk about it, and then once you see a certain line here, Some chicken mushroom skewers for Paimon, that's when you're not done. And you should hit 4 here. If you didn't hit level 4, then you missed something back in the video, and go back and make sure you got everything and did everything I did. Now you're just going to want to run into Mondstadt. There's no faster way to do this, just, just run in there. Remember, our goal has been rank 7, so we're already 4. And it's been, I don't know, probably about like 10 minutes, 9 minutes. Once you run in, a cutscene will start. Can't can't do anything about it. Spam click through this. Be ready to hit J on your keyboard. Hit one of the options. All right, now hit J. Spam click J, and then hit Escape. You get out of that menu. As soon as the journal comes up, and run all the way over here. We're gonna hit this teleportation station. Activate that, I'll give you some extra XP. Keep following my path. Climb up these walls. We're gonna climb up this giant wall right here. There's a little ledge that we're gonna sit on and regenerate our stamina. 
right here. Sit on this ledge, let it get full. And climb the entire wall. It'll be like in the middle of the courtyard. Go. Start this cutscene. Just spam click through this. Alright, so this is important. You can skip most of this. Jump off of this and activate the glider. As soon as it activates, hit your map and teleport down. Now this also, if your system's not fast, maybe just glide normally, but if as soon as you pop your glider, you're able to just teleport down here to Amber. This is a pretty long cutscene. Can't skip it at all, so get to watch it. Okay, so once you get done with the cutscene, I'm gonna lead into this. And you're not going to be able to do anything for a second until you hear Binti say something to you. So right here, you're just kind of floating, waiting for characters to speak. Once you hear a mysterious voice, which is Binti's voice, you know, once it finishes, right here, you'll pull up the crosshair. Once you see the crosshair, you can start shooting. And there's not much you can do here, you just, you know, just hit your shots, I guess. You know what I mean? Okay, so it's dialogue option, just spam through this. Spam through this and then hit the top dialogue option when Kaya says something to you. Because it actually skips quite a bit of, of text boxes. Hit the top one. And it'll lead you into this. Click to that. Alright, come over here. Climb this, make sure you have lots of stamina, and jump over here. Try and jump before you uh, fall off of that, unlike me. Climb up, and you're gonna get to that ledge right there. Make sure you time your stamina. Regen it all. And time your stamina here, we're just getting to this dark area. Once you get like right this little ledge right here, you can just jump and it'll climb in. Activate this teleport. Jump off and get this chest. Make sure you open it. Jump over. Open up this chest. And jump over here. Jump down right in front of the door. You should hit 5 right when you hit the ground. And don't worry about the world drops. The chest drops, they stay there as long as you don't log out. So let's say you get a really good character, you can go back to these big chests and get all the loot from them. There we go. Once you get all through all that, a few little things will pop up. Just click through them. There we go. Hit your map. Teleport to the station. Immediately go to the left and start running towards this beam of light. I would definitely teleport there no matter what, even if your system's fast or not, because it's definitely faster than running all the way there. If you're in front of it, talk to Amber. You have to talk to the person in front every time to start the quest. So you click. There's gonna be two start buttons to hit. They're both in the exact same spot, so just hit start, keep spam coming, hit start again. It's gonna take you in. Okay. Hit start on this, switch to amber and pull your bow out and charge an arrow. Hit that barbed wire right there. Make sure you hit it before it you know does the camera thing so it's burning while you're not being able to move. Come around here, walk up against this wall and make sure you pick up the chest through the wall. It's literally through the wall. Jump over that, glide over here. If you, don't, if you don't walk on that wall, then it'll hit like a little dialogue box that might take a second to, you know, activate. Kill this guy. Remember, you don't have to be like, as fast. You can do take it at your own pace, but make sure you do these things though. Because then it'll, you know, then, um, get the right rolls. I just went ahead and did this. There we go. Make sure you get both of these chests. There's one behind there and one right there. Right here, switch to amber and shoot these barrels. And wait a second. Like, wait a little bit, like right there. Now you can walk in. If you do it, if you don't shoot the barrels, or you shoot them and then walk in, there'll be like a little cutscene in it. Um, it can take a while. Put everything in the room and open this chest. 
Switch to Amber and charge your bow. Hit that. And you see how I dashed, then spam jumped until my thing came out? So I'm already up here while that little camera thing was locked. That was actually my first time ever hitting that. Don't be worried if you don't, you don't hit that, because all it does is just speed it up a little bit. Land on this railing here, pull out your bow. Hit that from there and it'll start the cutscene. Yeah, just fly up there and do that. It doesn't have to be as uh, pixel perfect. You know, remember, it's it's going to be a matter of a couple seconds. So if you don't care about whatever, open that chest and leave. Now, the domain chests aren't the best in the world, so like don't be too afraid that you just left all that loot because the domains don't work the same way as world loot. You know, if I go back to Mondstadt right now, uh, the loot would be on the ground. Anyway, we're coming right up there. Turn left. Walk over here. Hit this chest right here in between the Prima Gems, right where my arrow hit. I actually missed it because I'm a bot, but you want to hit that from back there. I missed it twice, but hit that from back there so it's burning while you're running over here. Then you can, it's already done. Then walk over here. You see these balloons in the sky. Pull your bow out and hit them. Once you hit them, a chest will spawn right here. Open the chest and then jump down and pick up this anop the Oculus, not even gonna try and. The Oculus is right there, right off the side of the cliff, so be sure you pick that up. Then when you run over here, on the way to the statue, and you get this one. Grab that one. Do this. Talk to the statue. Hit offer and then hit offer all. If you hit offer, if you hit the normal offer button, a little an extra box will pop up. But if you hit offer all, then you know it's the fastest animation. After you do that, this thing will pop up, and we're gonna be headed this way right now. Cause there's an there's another Oculus in this wind tunnel. It's also a shortcut to Lisa's thing. Come out of here, run over here to this big root. Climb up. There's a little broken spot you can stand out, regenerate your stamina. You have to do this. Also, you have to do every single thing I've done, pretty much. Or your numbers will be off and you won't hit 7. As soon as I did. I'm up this branch. Oh, Jesus. Don't do that. Don't do everything I did in that manner. There we go. Get this, get that Oculus right there. And we're gonna be jumping right on there to that one. You're not gonna be able to reach from here, which is fine, because all you're gonna do is you're gonna grab this little wind spirit down here. And once you grab one, come grab this one and then hit E. It'll start a little wind tunnel. It'll go up and grab the Oculus there and then immediately go to the left. Dash through all this. Don't get hit by that boar. And actually save a little bit of stamina because there's a boar right over this hill. You may want to dash right next to it because it could hit you and slow you down like right there. And it hit me still so, somehow, but no worries. Just keep following my path over here. Or those guys. Get in this wind tunnel here and look up. Make sure you're lined up with this Oculus at the very, very top. Bam. Once you get it, fly towards this domain. You're gonna come and talk to Lisa. Her, and click. Dash towards the domain. Remember the two two start buttons in the exact same spot. There we go. Alright, so this skip is a little tricky. Um, if you don't get it first try, or first couple tries, I'd suggest maybe just running through the domain normally. But, I'm gonna try my best to get it, because I struggle with it too still. So come and talk to Lisa like normal. Then, jump over these railings right here. This is normal. What that does is it skips a little camera lock-on cutscene. Slow you down a little bit. Over here, get back here and open up this chest. Have to do that. Come up here. There's gonna be another chest right to the right. Right here. There we go. 
once you get both those chests, what you're going to do is jump out here, use it to boost you up, and fly all the way around. And you're going to grab this ledge right here. I don't think I got it this time. I'm going to try a couple more times. I'll cut to when I get it if I do. Alright, there you go. That took me a couple tries, but as you see from my health, it obviously did. So what you're going to do is just... I would take your time on this, especially if you struggled like me, because if you fall here, you don't get a checkpoint sick for way back there. So then jump over here, activate this, and then just jump out, ignore all this, and hit this wind current and hug the right side so you can go all the way up. Make sure you go all the way up, and then hold W. If you can land on that platform as it's going towards the thing, then you can. Just keep gliding right here until you see that that white, white, that yellow text, Door of Resurrection, has entered. Once you do that, right, left click, basically kill yourself. That door will open up. Come in here and get as close as you can to the stone. Don't shoot from too far back. And all you have to do is click twice. One, two. You don't have to click a third time or else it'll teleport you back. Open the chest, hit the domain, and get out of there. You don't have to do anything else. It's literally that quick. Once you're out here, turn left, pick up this oculus right here. Once you pick that up, hit your map, teleport to the statue. That's right here. Worship, offer all, and boom. You've hit inch rank seven. So I don't know exactly how long that was. You know, it'll differ on your run. Maybe you mess up a ton somewhere or whatever. But once you get it down, it's quite the system, and that's it. So after you hit 7, teleport to Mondstadt and go talk to your uh, the uh, Adventurer's Guild person, Catherine. Talk to Catherine, claim your rewards. Now you only have to claim up to level 5, that's when they give you the roll, but it's not that big a deal. I just claim all 7. Then hit escape, hit your mail, and click claim all. Once you do that, now you have everything you need to roll. So now I'm going to show you the order I like to roll in. So this is where, you know, it's RNG, I could get absolute trash right here, or I could get something good, so let's see what I get, you know? My reaction is it's gonna be everything. So this I would hit Noel's banner first, I didn't even explain that. I would hit Noel's banner first. You know, you're gonna get Noel. You know, and you're doing this for specific characters, right? So a reason I was doing this is I did this a couple times and got a character, an account that has characters that I don't have on my main account, like Bennett or uh, Shinkyu. So now I can level them up on those accounts and make videos on them. Alright, so once you do Noel Banner once, click on Venti's Banner and I would wish 10. You know, you can skip through whatever you like, but we got a freaking gold! Oh my... Oh my goodness, I hope it's ka -ching. Oh, I guess it's gonna be Venti. It's a deluxe! What? I had a 50-50 chance of getting Venti and I didn't get it and I got the luck again. I already have freaking the luck on another account. What in the world? Well, there you go. See, that's why we do this, baby. We re-roll we re for these reasons. Let's go. That's still hype, nonetheless. But anyways, after you do that, I would wish 10 again. Imagine doing this for the first time ever playing the game and getting these cracked out characters. When I first played the game, I got like... Yeah, I guess it was really because I just didn't know what I was getting or what the potential was. Two Barber's books. <laughs> Third Barber's book. Holy, I'd be a cracked out Barber. Got Shangling. This is a good account. <laughs> a lot of good characters and items. So there you go. Once you do that twice, I would back out, go to the shop, go to Pyman's Bargain, far right, and buy four Acquaint Fate. Only four. There you go. Now what that's going to do is that's going to let you finish off Noel's rolls. Let's go ahead and finish these off. If I get two golds in this video, when I, this is my second gold ever, and that's just today, because I got Deluxe earlier this morning, and I got Deluxe again. How, how about to make the stupidest fun? Ooh, Sucrose. Interesting seeing her. I only have gotten one of her on my main account. There we go. Now, what I would do is I would go and wish another 10 on the Venti banner. Now, this is just what I would do. Obviously, you can do whatever you want. I just think this is give you the best odds of getting good stuff and good characters. We didn't get a gold from that. Most of the blues are just, you know, whatever. Okay, we got a... I think that's a Claymore. That's it. Wow. Alright, then what you're going to do 
is go to the shop, Simon's Bargain Stardust Exchange, and buy as many intertwined fates as you can. Back to the wishing, and unfortunately you can't do these in a group, so you'll just have to do them solo. You can skip pretty quickly. If, you, if it's not a purple, you know, I'd pretty much just skip it. But I wait to see what it is first before I hit skip. Oops, come back all the way out. I would use two more rolls here with the Primo Gems you have left. And remember, literally anything can be anything. Like, I just got a green, uh, orange, I just got Deluxe again, but that doesn't mean that my, my next roll could be Deluxe as well, you know what I mean? It, it, your rolls can be anything at any point. It doesn't matter how, how long you got something. Alright, so I would buy one more Plane of Fate. I'm just gonna buy both of these. I think I did something out of order, but... You know, eventually you'll be able to get enough Stardust to buy everything. Maybe sometimes, depending on your rolls, if you get duplicates early or not. You know, you could get something else. So we have one roll here. We got a purple. We got Fischl. This is a fantastic account. Holy. Then we got one roll here. I got Fischl, Deluxe, Shangling, a cracked out Barbara. That's the... There's the four right there, honestly, bro. This account... This account may be it. But that's all you have the rolls. So once you do all of that, then you're done, right? You either save down this, you write down this account's info, you use this account. So, you know, I'll be sure to mention that, you know, I'll be sure to write down in my notes that this account's got Deluxe and really good characters and good Barbara stuff. And that's about it. Um, follow this reroll guide. It's only, I mean, I know it's a long video, but that's about how long it takes to get 40 rolls and you could get Deluxe just like that, right? So, you know, if, if you're pretty early in the game or even if you're late in the game like me, I don't have a single five star on anything now i have two of them on two different accounts you know i still want Kaching, chi chi you know i want all the five stars right so i plan to do this for quite a while um i don't think any of these rewards change anytime soon i know there's something that was on the time but i think that's event rank 10 but i think when you hit event rank 10 you get like 10 more rolls but i think that's going to go away soon this video is coming out on the 11th so uh this should be good to go for as, as long as i know for a while at least until they change something but i don't think they're going to change anything so yeah that's the whole video guys Thank you for watching, if you watch this whole thing. Um, and I'll see you guys tomorrow.